Oh, this is Music, Love, and Life. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's the new one? All right, Music, Love, and Life. <laughs> music, <laughs> music, Life, and Love. I, I don't know. I, I don't know who music, show that is. Love, yeah. <laughs> that's a new one. Music, Love, and Life. I, it would still be MLL, right? <laughs> it was, it was just, yeah, yeah, no matter what. Just yeah. switched it around. It's MLL, that's all. Go ahead, yo, go ahead, go ahead and roll with it, Jack. No. You know, I'm just... <laughs> trying to get some love for 2024, bro. So according, oh, there we go. According to Jazz, this is the music loving life <laughs> <laughs> episode. You know what I'm saying? We're going to rock out with that. That's going to be the name of the episode, not the name of the show, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. All right. So <laughs> People are going to be mad. Going. Cheers oh, to that. They're going to be right, mad confused. Right. Oh, look at you over there. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got a birthday coming up. Somebody's birthday just passed. Oh, so yeah. I'm celebrating. Okay? Hey, you giving mm -hmm. reasons for everything to take them shots. There, mm -hmm. there you go. Hey. I ain't knocking it. I ain't knocking it. How y'all feeling? Cooling, cooling. Yeah, I feel good, man. How you feeling, man? Always great. Always That's great. That's what's up. Jazz, what's up? I'm what's feeling up? good. You, you over there sparked up. Listen, yeah. I'm feeling good. Okay. Looking good. <laughs> I try. I try. Looking again. good, she for real. The, Shout I, out to the Jazzy Mango Curvy Fit, though, y'all. I came through, you know, new bra that I got for y'all, for y'all that like the push-up, mm. and for y'all that like, you know, the blazer, but you're going to give a little pop. I'm coming for y'all. I'm mad they can't see the shoes, though. That's the only I thing. I know. Shoes but the popping. shoes are mine. But, mm. you know, shout out to Steve Madden. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, but man. the shoes is fire. Yeah. <laughs> shoes they is they gave point. it to you to wear so that way you can get some sponsorship going. There right. you go, y'all. Mm, Steve that's Madden that's is still out there? I didn't even know that. Yeah. I, I, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Come through. Okay. Got some pieces in the in the, in the the vault. Mm. You be matching them up, right? I be trying. <laughs> and me like I keep stuff like if I have something for 10 years ago mm -hmm. I'll keep it I don't really get rid of stuff so I can kind of bring it back fashion mm -hmm. is subjective very, yeah it is, very, it is you know what I'm saying repetitive too get rid of stuff yeah very repetitive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so where, where are we going today where are we going today oh man there's been a lot going on in the internet there's been a lot Woo! when is it now? Like, I can't keep up Woo! between cat mm -hmm. between Dan, now Dave Chappelle, Dave be Chappelle, mm -hmm. Country Wayne. These these comics not playing. Shout out to Shannon Sharp. Yeah, shout, to out to Shan shout out to Shout out to Cub Shay Shay. <laughs> I'm not knocking the man's Brandon. He he's getting neither. them numbers though. Yeah, he is getting them numbers. He, he got his own liquor too. That yeah, Le, Le Portier or whatever it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know particularly. I know you mentioned something about Dave Chappelle. I didn't really hear anything. He just felt a way about what Cat Williams said. He basically said like. Why is it always us coming for us? Like, dang, just like leave that. You didn't come for any others, as I call them. You didn't come for any of them. You just came for all of us. Like, why can't we just stick together? You know, the same spiel we hear every day. How do y'all feel about that? Like, you felt like, do you feel like Kat should have came for some of the others? I think, I think from, from Kat's perspective, he's just, he's just concerned about our culture. He's not really concerned about any other cultures. You know what I'm saying? So he's like wondering why... Why do we have to get be unaddressed to, in order for us to, you know what I mean, uh, do comedy? It, it's, it's unnecessary. Um, me personally, I'll be honest with you. I've seen a lot of good comics coming. I mean, <laughs> you got you have Shanene, you know I me mean, with Martin. So you know, I I don't know. I big I have a different house. big mama house. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? You got Respucia. Right, you know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the Medea joint. I'm not really <laughs> okay, a fan. You know I mean? I'm not a fan of the uh, okay. the Tyler Perry stuff. Okay. I'm a fan of Tyler Perry as I far as him, you know, business as a black person. man, as a business person. I don't, I never knocked that. But um, I'm just looking at other characters. It's, you know, they were actually real good characters, you know, um, that men dressed in women, you know, women clothing. So I don't knock that. So yeah. I, I just have a question, like, okay, boom, you go in, you read in your script, mm -hmm. and they, you're a comedian, and they say, we're going to need you for this movie, but we want you to wear a dress. How are you feeling about that? Like, are you taking it like it's just craft, it's just something funny, or are you taking it personal, like, why are... I'm I'm a man. Why am I putting a dress on? Now for me, I'm not wearing no dress. <laughs> That's not happening. Not I'm not wearing I'm not wearing a dress. Okay. I, like I said, I don't knock nobody else, but it's just for me personally. I just I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing a dress. You know what I mean? I'm not a I'm not a woman, so I'm not gonna w wear a dress. But I don't knock anybody else that can actually do that and bring out the craft or or, or that character, particular character. But that's just not me. You know what I mean? I don't think I, I I couldn't pull that off. I'll feel so uncomfortable. It's because I'm I'm not comfortable with that. You know what I mean? Because that's not me. 
You want a little bit of wind going up there, <laughs> huh? You don't want the wind, you want how the do, breeze. How do you feel? It's like, a no. Okay. It, 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 and it, Shut it. Now, what if we in Dubai? Like, are y'all putting on their like outfit? I forget what the correct name for I, it is. I never knew what the name, what that name. Right, was. and I don't mm-hmm. want to get it wrong. But like, do you feel like something like that is different? I think because that's not a the that's their culture, mm-hmm. and that's not like you're putting putting this on for a character. You're actually wearing it, you know, from a cultural perspective okay. versus you doing it for a role. But even then, if you're doing it for a role, you're doing it for a role. If you you comfortable with doing that, it's not like you walking down up and down the street doing that. But if you were, hey, that's on you. Like when we was. <laughs> if, it, Cause I mean, let's just be honest. People they do whatever they want to do, regardless mm-hmm. of what anybody thinks. Yeah. But I know when I was younger and I was seeing like you just mentioned like Shanae and stuff like that. I didn't think nothing of it when I was a kid. Okay. I just thought that they were doing it, you know, because it's a show and they were just putting it on for the show. So I, I felt like okay. Exactly. But as it started to get broken down, you know, further deeper into the layers of it, then I'm like, oh, mm. now I get it, mm-hmm. right? you know. But um. No, I don't think that that's something that I would probably agree to. Um, I just, I don't. I just, it's just me. I'm just like, nah. I'm, I'm gonna pass on that. I'll, I'll be pissed off if I if mm, I nice. came to you know. Yeah, I'll be pissed <laughs> off because if if I came to the if that's something that my manager knows that I wouldn't do, and then well, and then I'm showing up to to read a script and they say, you know what? Well, we we changed it last minute. Like, why would y'all change right. it last minute? Y'all y'all trying and to And I think me. that was to Cat's point. It's like he's. In general, not just saying him, certain people are trying to get to certain levels. And at that level, that's when they're stopping it because now they're adding little caveats saying, mm. if you don't do these certain things, basically you're going to be blackballed or you're going to be put in a situation where you're only able to do X amount of dollar um, type of film or, you know, uh, stand ups. So mm. I think that's where he was coming with that. Like, Yes, you should have the option to say, I don't want to do this. I don't feel comfortable doing this. And, and it still, still keep on continuing. Right. But you don't get to continue. Because mm. basically they're looking at it like, oh, he didn't do that. So, you know, that's a wrap with him. We'll find somebody else c- that could do it. Okay, you can find somebody else, but don't blackball me from right. from, from other projects that I, I want to work on. Oh, you know well, I mean? That's you, what I don't get. When you when you in the house, you play by house rules. You already know you don't control that. Damn. They going to, come on, it's like, oh, so you don't want to, all right, cool. Spiteful time. Mm. Right. We know how it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it might not be to the dress, per se, nah. but we experience it every day. You mm. know what I mean? You don't want to do certain things, and people ain't going to keep calling you. That's true. <laughs> they not calling you. Um, I would ask you about the dress, but clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something crazy, like, well, how you feel about women wearing pants? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> no, But that, yeah. You know. Well, it, so would, I, you, would you play like a, you know... Um, like a role like uh, Latif and set it off? Yeah. You would do that? Yeah, I definitely would. I feel like for women it's unfair, but just like things for men are unfair to women. Like mm-hmm. I think that we can kind of get away with a lot of different things that you men can't do. Like for instance, people would love to see a lesbian scene, but they don't want to see two men on men. Like, mm-hmm. is it fair? No, but that's the opinion and it's more appealing to most people. So like, yeah, I would definitely play Cleo. I actually want to play a role like that. Like, I want to be like a madam, but like mm-hmm. um, more masculine. More like, masculine. yeah, definitely. You think you could pull it off? I, what? Yeah. My whole energy you is. You already like, know she yeah, can My whole it. energy is that. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I definitely could. I still want to wear my heels, though. You wear too. But I'm wearing some fire ass suits. I feel like you're way too feminine. You that. think so? Yeah, 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 I think so. I don't Man, know why. I can't. Maybe under this nah, bed, we. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you could pull that off. I, yeah. I think you could go wow. left or right. All you gotta mm. do is no makeup. Yeah. Roll done right there. No makeup, yeah. and then that's it. Cause you gotta look rough. Yeah, that's it. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta look rough. I mean, you probably feel weird though. Cause I, I would I, definitely I feel weird. Because you got to take the nails. That's why um, I didn't audition for BMF. Anything that's not like of this time, I don't really audition for, even Mm. if they ask me. Mm. Because it requires a lot of like 1990s or 80s or, you know, 2000 look. And so that means like the wigs they don't want to see. The nails you can't really have. You know, a lot of stuff that I wear on a daily basis, you can't have while you're filming. Mm. So most of the time, unless like I really want to do it, I don't really... um, you know, try out for those type of roles. Damn. I saw something on the internet. It was like one of those, uh, I thought it was a joke. It was this guy 
he was, you know, smashing these chicks and he was sending them home in the next morning with a doggy <laughs> bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. It had like a uh, a sandwich, forty dollars, a Capri Sun. You said I think. a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich. Yes. <laughs> like, how would you feel if you just finished <laughs> doing your thing? You know what I mean? And then the next morning, he he gives you that and like, yo, I see you later. Calls your Uber or you know, well, you probably you don't you wouldn't do Uber. Uber. No. Uber excuse me. First of all, you've got us in a black car. But second, <laughs> <laughs> second of all, like I don't know how to feel about that. Like a goodie bag, right? I don't know how. Like, <laughs> is that bag. nice or is that ins- <laughs> is that insulting? Like, honestly, like I might be hungry. Like, you know what I'm saying? I right. might need a sandwich. I might like a juicy. And mm-hmm. he put like eighty dollars in there. Like, that's right. so Starbucks for the week. So, like, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm really mad about it. But if it's a situation where it's like, all right, that was what it was, and I'm never seeing you again, I will feel some type of way. And I feel like that's how he made it. Yeah, I will know when he stopped calling me. But that's after the fact. You done had the sandwich and everything. No, but I'm saying, like, if it's something that he does on a regular, then that's cool. I'm coming over there regularly. We got our situation. I'm getting me a goodie bag. But if it's like, nah, Tasha on Monday, Cena on Tuesday, (laughs) Jazzy on Wednesday. Most likely. Like, dang, it's probably how it's set up. And I don't even know if I'm mad at it. Like, thank you for the sandwich, bro. Mm. Yo, listen. Because I, I done got less. That, I, that's what I was saying. I women, didn't, didn't send them home with nothing. They done got less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't sit you home with nothing. Said, oh, nothing. He said, oh, had you come with nothing. I'm, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to have to upgrade now. I'm gonna... But I thought it was real cute. Like, you know what I mean? But it's insulting. Is there, any, is there anything else you would add to that if he, if you could? To that goodie bag? A plan to B. Go? Nah, let me stop. Oh, <laughs> now that. <laughs> hey, plan, look, now because that. they Fine. cost about $50. Plan B sold so separately. He, come on. Oh, but he gave you the 80 right there. You no, the no, that's for me. That's for the, that's the not, Starbucks what? tea in the, in, the, in the sandwich. <laughs> that's for the pregnancy <laughs> test. <laughs> a family dollar for that. <laughs> You making them lunch boxes? I ain't making them shit. <laughs> oh wow, my head make- is hurt. <laughs> That's Capricorn to him. <laughs> I ain't making you shit. You know That's what I'm saying? Though he took the time. I think that he literally took the time to do that. Went to Sam's Club, just no, balked up on it. I think he's just. He, cold. They be like, "You here every week, sir?" He be like, "Yeah, it's a wild one." <laughs> like that's real crazy. So you saying you buying them like in Costco's and shit? So I, he has him- to. Okay. Come on, yeah. he does this. This is the thing he do. <laughs> But the oh, fact man. is, he did put money in there. He did. Yeah, so, I just with other little money. goodies and stuff. So you're not gonna just be. Like, it was. Nah. It was. It was. He gave him an eighth. He gave him a roll up with it. Like oh, you, I didn't even yeah, see that. Yeah, it was like oh, he this. That's, that's money. That's a health Listen, pack. Come on, let's let's. Do, wow. The dude ain't broke. You understand? Because if he was broke, you ain't giving people eighths. Right. No. You know what I'm saying? That's a good another what fifty, sixty dollars, forty dollars, whatever on top of that. And then you gave him the stuff to go with it. Then you got the cash. Then you got something to drink, something to eat, some, some crackers snacks. and stuff like that. Yeah. Come on, and for every woman, I might need. What's his name? <laughs> I might need that. <laughs> this episode is being sponsored by Mango Mania Productions. Oh man, it's a Tito's. Oh man, where we at with that, it? That's yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I was looking at the um the fair treatment for women in acting. Yeah. I felt like in the beginning mm. they was all standing together. But then after now it's a while, wild. Now it, it was like, nah, we, we making money real, over here. I was real, like, what's going on wild. with that? Was you said fair treatment? Anybody yeah, like actually, okay, uh, so I feel rising? like everybody has their own experience, just like we all have our own experience in life. Mm-hmm. I feel like when Taraji came out and she said what she was saying, I a hundred percent and still stand by her because I understand just in general outside of acting what it feels like to be hired as a woman and get significantly less than a man. Like in general, the world wasn't set up for women to be working. I had this conversation with, you know, friends of mine. It was set up for a man to work and for a woman to be at home taking care of the house. So why would you think, sorry, feminists, why would you think when you got into a man's world, so they say, that they would want it to be equal when it's still ran by a man? Mm. They still want to control what you're going to do, how you're going to get it, and they don't want you to surpass them. Unfortunately, right now, most women are making more than men. But if it was that man making more than hers, he would still be making more, if you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So in Taraji's case, I understand specifically what she's saying, where she's like, I... She, she, my signing bonuses is not matching 
you know, maybe a, a white woman's or my what I'm getting paid per episode or pay per movie is not matching. Now I had this conversation with somebody else and their their um take on it was, well, Taraji's movies are not basically surpassing what the production put in. So mm-hmm. as a business stance, is it like, oh, is it part targeted towards Taraji or is it like as a business owner, I don't want to mess myself up. If I think that this movie's not going to do that well, why would I pay you such and such and such when you're not going to deliver? Not her personally, the mm-hmm. movie in its tire. And it had me think of a like a different way of thinking about that. But to me, I feel like she's worth what she's worth. She's been in the game as long as she's been in. She's an excellent actor. And Very. there's situations like Will Smith where he's bombed movies multiple times. And still when he comes to the table, they're not talking about no... 500,000, they're not. It's anything millions and up for Will Smith, even when he has those bad movies or he slaps somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just saying, like, it's not fair. It, it, it isn't. Um, I know Eva Marcel, she spoke on um, her experience um, with acting and stuff like that. And she said it's been great. She hasn't had these issues. She's going to stand by Taraji. But this is not the issues that she has, as well as um, K.J. Smith. She spoke about it, too. And I know K.J. Smith has been on other things. And I believe Eva has been on other things. But to my point, they have mostly been working on shows or movies from Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm. So somebody like Taraji that has been on Primetime This or other, other Big time. Um, yeah. networks or stuff like that, yeah. I don't think it really compares when you're comparing your experience to one production. And I'm not saying I could be wrong. I didn't fact check anything. I'm not saying that these women haven't been on other people's things. But for the most part, their longstanding shows have been with Tyler Perry Productions. Whereas Taraji has been all around, yeah. and I just don't think you can compare it. Like I, I don't think it's fair. So w- what's not fair? What, what I don't think mean? it's fair to say that basically they haven't experienced that. They basically said, "I'm sorry for what you're going through, sis, but I haven't had that experience over here with Tyler Perry. So I can't agree with you that I'm not getting paid." what I should get paid because to me, I negotiate my contract and I feel like everything I'm getting paid is right. Mm. That's what they're saying on their stance. Whereas Taraji is saying on her stance, I have basically been on a whole bunch of networks and they have played me from all types of, of angles. I mean, at the least, the last production she did, Oprah was one of the executive producers. Right. Now, they're saying that they had to get a rental car. They're saying that they had no dressing room. They're saying that they had no food on set. At, at, at some point, it became laughable to me. Like, is this, ser- is this a joke? Yeah, it's like, like, you know, what I mean? like, yeah. at some point, I was just like, maybe they're just trying to disrespect them as black women because I don't even understand why Oprah would allow this anyway and not just her the whole production when you can get better service on independent film. Like, come on, you, you're you on set 12, 15, 16 hours and you're saying you didn't eat? That, like, yeah, that's, that's yeah, like yeah, wild. Yeah. Like, uh, like that's a lawsuit. Like, that sounds crazy. So are you trying to be funny? Are you trying to play me? Did you hear my interview and now you're trying to get crazy? Mm. Like, I just felt like it was just getting kind of out of hand, like mm. literally. Like, what do you mean you didn't eat? And what do you mean like you were given a rental car? And what do you, like, it just was getting like, no. No. That's wow. <laughs> I, I did not hear none of this. Yeah, like, like wow. It just was kind of getting really crazy. Now, I have been on set and I have been on set for hours. And I'm not going to name no names, but one of the names that was mentioned in my previous what I just said was one of their sets. Wow. And I have not gotten fed and it has been not great experience. So it's like I feel like everybody has a different experience depending on who you are, what you do, who you're connected to, and what's going on at that moment. Going on that I, yeah, moment. you know what I mean? Like, And then to address, I know I'm rambling, but to address Vivica Fox. Who said the same thing. Who right? said the same thing. It's like, sister, mm-hmm. you were an actor when. Mm-hmm. That money then is not even equivalent to what we need to live on now. Mm-hmm. You're saying you didn't experience that then. But really, how many black actresses were they then? You know what I mean? And you, maybe you don't think, but sis, you were still getting paid lower. Mm. You just don't think so because you were the top of the black actresses. Mm. If you would put it on a whole scale of all actresses, white, male, female, 
black woman, you would still be low to care, compare to everybody. And that's the point that Taraji is trying to make. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what do you think uh, Taraji is worth then? If that's the I personally, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate in a little spots because we're on the show. I think that some people think, unfortunately, Taraji's a little around the way. You know what I mean? Maybe she is not versatile in certain situations and some of the roles that she plays in, mm -hmm. you still see Taraji come through the role as not like the character, but as like you know her personally. So that's like been an argument as well. Like, oh, the roles that she play are similar to her own character. Yeah, so she's not really... You know what I mean? Like, her, her, we can't her, really... We'll but then it's like other situations where she's been in... I think, was she in Kill Bill? She was in... I'm saying it wrong, but mm -hmm. she was in something... I think it was I think it was that. If I'm wrong, y'all say it in comments. But um, she, I thought her character was completely different than mm -hmm. what she normally did. So I guess it's just like basically to each his own. Mm -hmm. I, I think she's great. I like her as a person. I like what she stands for. She stands highly for mental health, which is a big thing that, you know, I stand with. So I just like Taraji all the way around. So, you know, I'm probably biased, but I um, think her work speaks for herself. And I think that pay the woman what she asked for, mm. you know? Yeah, mm. you want to keep them happy. So um, what is this snorting powder, caffeine powder? What, what is that about? Snorting, snorting caffeine. Ca nah, because she put it down here. <laughs> I want you to explain. Wait, not the same thing from Delhi. That's what she does before. Nah, that's, what, that's what you do before your sets. The, that's I mean, crazy. Oh, shit. What, is, what was this about? Who's snorting, who snorting coffee? Saw, it's, it's on the topic list. Yeah. Snowing, snowing well, you know, some Starbucks. I, so there was a supplement that yeah. basically <laughs> is powdered caffeine. Powder caffeine. And they were saying that people were snorting that before they start their day, before they do their workouts. And, you know, people were passing out. And it oh, was, like Coke. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Basically. Okay. And people, you know. And it's cheap were, Coke. Cheap Coke that you can buy from the drugstore. For, for $1.99. <laughs> for $1.99. It might be $49.99, but who, who's counting? Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to snort nothing. So, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's something you, I, maybe I'd mix it. I'll agree mm -hmm. with that. Put it in something. Mix it. That's what with your drink though. You're yeah, about. like okay. mix it in a drink with something. Yeah. Oh, you mean like uh, when you, it's like coffee? Yeah. Uh, put it. Yeah. Put, put it in a coffee. Coffee, coffee or coffee. put it in your Yo, liquor. I don't doing know. The most. <laughs> They be exaggerating. Like, like, they, like, they literally, yeah. and the crazy thing is, people are making millions of dollars off of something we say is crazy. Oh man. Oh well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you that much in the like Ozempic, you know what I mean? Oh, people are taking this Ozempic injectable that was used nor first for diabetes. What's it for? What it's it? it was it's called Ozempic, oh. and it's basically it was used for people that have diabetes to control their sugar levels. Oh, nice! But people started using it for weight loss. Oprah, a lot of people, and it showed a significant. Oh. Um, Substantial amount of weight loss that you can get. Wow, from that you about cookie. to you about to get a sponsorship. It, it, Listen, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, oh, Zippic, holla at your girl. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> mad at it. I watched Married to Medicine and Doctor um, Simone was talking about it, and I am not. But I want to try it. I definitely do because they say that it works. It's about twenty percent of your um, body fat goes down. That's a lot. So it's cutting your sugar. You said, right? yeah. So so it's it's suppressing your appetite. Your appetite. So therefore, like you know, you're not as hungry. You're probably eating like 50% of your meal mm -hmm. than you would normally. Mm -hmm. So th they've given it out at OG OBGYNs mm -hmm. um, and a lot of doctor's offices and like um, core life, places like that. They give it out, but they say that it's a shortage right. because they give it. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> because it's coming out. Now, it's not covered by most insurances. It is very expensive. But now the people that actually were using it for the right reasons uh -huh. for the diabetes they can't get their medication. See now, the model Beverly Johnson. You remember Beverly uh, boom, Johnson? Boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> she, she was sniffing more she than sniffing, caffeine. She was sniffing coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. She, she said coke. she. What did she say? She a was, cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Uh, caffeine is something else she had. Was it app? I don't know. But she said this was a daily thing she did so that she could stay fit yep. for for her modeling. Well, caffeine, yeah, but that's like when they put the stuff in the um the pre workouts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was taking the pre workouts and shit. I was I was fiending for that shit. Like, yo, I will wake <laughs> so up. Do you be hyper? Cause yeah. I feel yeah. like the only thing that keeps me hyper 
is alcohol. I don't feel like if I have and alcohol, alcohol is supposed to put, right? yeah, it's supposed yeah, to like, suppress you. You see me? I'm up. Yeah. You feel me? And so but for, now. <laughs> for now. For now. But like I feel like coffee doesn't do it for me. Like if I drink coffee, I could really go to sleep. It's not oh, something that's that gonna make crazy. me Yeah, like I could drink coffee at night and go to bed. Literally. Mm mm. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> and go to bed. Yeah, it won't be no sleeping if I drink some coffee. I know. Wow. Yeah, nah. I stay yeah, away from that. Yeah. Okay. You tea, mix your coffee? Tea, tea too? Or you can drink tea at night? Tea, tea, tea at night. Yeah, tea and during the day at night, it's, it doesn't affect me okay. at all. Yeah. But yeah, coffee. I'm, good. I'm yeah. good with that too. Um, coffee well, at night. Ooh. Coffee at night. All right, Snoop Dogg. <clears throat> he quit smoking. And also, uh, yeah, I mean, I've heard that before. Yeah, uh, I've heard that. <laughs> would you do news? <laughs> For OnlyFans, <clears throat> if you got paid millions, news on OnlyFans for millions. News would y'all for, do that? News for would y'all would get news on OnlyFans if you got paid millions for it? Which I which I think a one shot deal. Yeah, I'll do it for one like one. Yeah, for for an episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not an he episode. He's been on a show. He's been on a show. I'm signing my check. Not an episode. I'm fucking a bathtub. <laughs> Running water you. and shit. <laughs> yeah, but nah, I, I don't know. Nah, I, I don't think I'll do it. Oh, nah, no, you just okay. said you would. You said one episode. <laughs> it was 100 million, to be correct, right? Yo, that they asked yeah. Snoop to do. And Snoop basically was like, nah, I'm married to a black woman. She ain't having that. Mm-hmm. I mean, those are his exact words. I'm just saying. Oh, so so he kind of put it on her. Yeah, because yeah. we already know Snoop a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's we his all, name. I mean, yeah. that's his name. Okay? <laughs> I mean, what you doing, Jazz? What you doing? You, you showing I news? go back and everything. forth with this. Yeah. Because one part of me is like, okay. And then the other part is like, nah, I don't know. So like I'm just fifty fifty with it. I don't really have an answer. Like a hundred million dollars. Do you feel like anybody that does get new for money is is it um prostitute? Degrading? degrading? It's not no, no prostitute. Be, definitely not. It wouldn't be prostitute. No, it's just I mean right? strippers. That is a talent. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> yeah. Wait. Well, why would you not do it? I just think that like. Looking back, I don't think I would be too proud of it. Like, I don't think my husband, like, you know, eventually would be proud of it. My kid would be too proud of it. Now, maybe like a a G-string and a bra, like, I'm always online like that. I think that, yeah, I could do that. Oh, but you're just not crossing the line. I'm not not, taking it all all over. She goes like this and it comes back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, you know what I mean? Maybe give me 50 million. No, 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 no deal. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they for the bikini. Nah, they want everything. <laughs> they just want the... They want, want everything, We want right? to see the nipples. We want to yeah, see no. the clitoris. Even, like, with acting roles, like, I'm not... It's crazy. It's so crazy now. Like, when you get, um, you know, when people ask you to be in their film or if you go audition, right, you will not believe how many in the asterisk it says nudity or it says, must be comfortable this, mm. backside only, this, that, and the third. And it's just like, nah, like, mm. you don't want to, yeah. Nah, I'm not for that. Not mm. right now. Mm. Not right now. Maybe when you get older. Yeah, maybe, w- not even older. Like, maybe. <laughs> Isn't Holly- it worse? <laughs> Isn't it worse when you maybe get older? Maybe Holly Berry type <laughs> money. Like, okay. maybe so. In Monster Ball, I, maybe. You just yeah. said 100 mil. That, and that's just a, a, a pick. You know what I mean? <sighs> Listen, I, y'all don't have I ain't to get saying yes or no. Look, well, what's your look, answer? Of course. <laughs> Hell yeah. For 50 oh, million. You paid him to take that listen, down, right? Listen, I'll do it right now for free. I don't care. For like, free? I, I'm, I'm loose oh, like that. You know what I'm no. saying? I don't, is, I don't mind. Is, get your listen, money, young man. Why not? You get know what I'm saying? Money. Look, it's either I'm going to get on Youth the front disclaimer. end. You disclaimer. I'm going to get it on the back end. Right, <laughs> Which, right. Whichever. Look, <laughs> I'm going to show it to you now. Then you're going to pay me for more. Or... You can just pay me now, and I'll show it to you anyways. Why not? What, what, I mean, what are we holding back for? <laughs> your life will change. Your life will change. Uh, all for one pick. The people that it matters great. to the most, they rich now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care what nobody Damn. else say. I think for a male, it's different than from a female. I'm going to go in the bathroom. It's I'm going to plump it up real quick. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? Is I'm going to plump that up? shit up. What? <laughs> you got to see the good side. You I you're not, not. Look, look, you're not going to see the shrimpy. Yeah. Nah, I got to get that shit right, dog. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> I got to get it right. Oh, shit. I'm hot. 
Well, it's yeah, crazy. they gotta have a shorty on the, on on set for you. Okay, yeah. right. no, I don't need none of that. So Listen. you're one episode. I'm fifty. One episode. And he's I'm for going free. in. Yeah, he's doing it for free. He's doing now it. For listen, free. I'm gonna get my money one way or another. He's over <laughs> Tax you, you, that is. You, <laughs> wow, you doing I, it for I'm, free yeah, though, bro? Thinking, I, That's wild. Yeah, yeah, gotta have fun. You gotta live. You gotta live. You gotta live uh, life. Gotta live. Yo. Yo. I'm tight. Just do it. Think about it later. Now me and G up tight. See, there's no. You see, there's no. There's no backlash. We we don't get no backlash as a male, but as a female, I get it because it's like, oh, you know, I can't believe my mom got right. You're a hoe. You're a da da da. So I get. I get that. You paid to go in there to see it. No. <laughs> That's the only way you saw it. You had to pay for it. You had to pay. And I don't know why, because I got $100 million. No. <laughs> why would you pay for this? <laughs> Let me give you about 15 <laughs> of this to show. Like, didn't you raise me? Like, <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. You saw every stage. Like, come on. Yeah, it might as what well. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Dang. Come on, my, come there's on. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm deleting your account. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. Not the delete. That's yeah. crazy. So, um, all right. So, yeah. That's where we stand with that. Um, yeah. Oh, I wanted to bring up something that Glorilla said. Um, a oh, I was going to. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I want to bring up the fact that she said there's no man on earth that. Well, I would. Yeah, she, I think she said on earth. Yeah. Paraphrasing. But at the same time, she said there's no man that's faithful. I mean, Jazzy. We have this conversation now. all the freaking time. Come on now. I'm not going to agree with that. Like, nope. I just can't. No man. I think there's about 2,000 of them that aren't. That are. 2, in the 000. whole world. Out of how many people in this yeah, world? There you go. Like eight mil- bil- <laughs> there eight you billion. There you go. Well, I don't know if it's eight billion men. <laughs> huh? I don't know if it's eight billion men, but <laughs> but there you go. That's where I stand. <laughs> hey yo, two thousand. Gotta find them. That's a low, Having. low, low amount. To be honest, yeah, that's a low it's percentage. A low, low. So let's, let's, let's be clear. When we're talking about cheating, we're talking about go stepping low. out. Basically. Uh, when we talk about cheating, we talk about stepping out. Actually, like sexual encounters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I guess you know, there's a, there's different forms of cheating. You know, okay. I, a lot of people right. say emotional, you know, emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you flirting, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of cheating. Which Whatever some you people would, think only if you're married. It's just a lot of right different situations. Mm-hmm. But two thousand, um, you saying? It's she she's, she's saying she's throwing two thousand two thousand people men that would not cheat. Yeah, and then everybody else is. Is a dog, right? That's who. <laughs> Rough. Well, women do it too, so. We're not talking about They're worse. It. We're literally yeah, we'll, talking about. We'll keep it. You I heard that part, but I'm just here to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Women do it too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it'd be like, what? <laughs> well, if it's 2,000 men that don't cheat, don't they gotta yeah. be say like, nothing stupid. They got to be like a million women that don't. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> the numbers, <laughs> I think it's but, higher than that, right. but I'll go with that. Nah, I think it's, it's definitely lower. 1. 5. It's lower than that. It's, it's okay, Country that. Wayne. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely lower than that. <laughs> women country cheat. Wayne. I didn't watch because Country episode. Wayne basically yeah. said that women cheat more often. Yes, and they cheat better. I, I agree with the better. Of course, I definitely agree with the better. I don't agree with the more often. I think more often. We want to be locked in. If like if we rocking with a dude, even if he got a girl, mm-hmm. we are gonna be faithful to him, which is crazy. But we will until it gets to another situation where it's like. You feel disrespected, you know what I mean, I guess, and you go and step out. So I don't think more often, but I think better. Like I said, cheating to me is is also is whatever you wouldn't do in front of your partner. You get what I'm saying? So oh, wow. even if you so I feel like women do that more often than okay, men. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So as far as flirting, as far as leading people on, um, leading men on. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's a form of cheating, even just taking down somebody's wow. information, their number. That's a form of cheating. Okay. Even if you had none, you you wasn't gonna. You had no intentions of using, using it. it. You still took the number. So, you still batting your eyes. And so so, that, so, so, so that's still a form of cheating for me. I, I, I got a question real quick, right? So I know the whole number thing is more like back in the day. So what if you give me your social media? Is it the same? <laughs> I'm just saying because the number is the like same a back shit. in the day. It, oh, is it? Yeah, because I just seen somebody so literally. Man. So somebody yeah. literally recently just asked me, "Hey, you want to do this the old school way or the new school way?" And he was trying to talk to me, talk to me, and he was basically like, the, "I was like, oh, what is that?" And he was like, "The new school way is I ask you for your social media. Mm. The old school way is I ask you for your number." And I was like, "Oh, you could get my number." So it's like, let's keep it a buck, right? More more people are willing to give out their social media before they give out their phone number. Right. And my whole thing is like it's the same shit. I got a way to communicate with you, mm. especially now because mm. the DMs is crazy. Mm. Right. People answer your DMs before they answer the text. It's like, well, why the fuck you asking yeah, for my damn number? Like, right. <laughs> it's right. crazy. I get, but the the social media though, you can see more of them. Like, you know, 
you see more. I advise people. anybody just don't go on my social media. If you want to date me, just don't. Right. Because it just always Whoa. becomes Whoa. for them. It becomes like another situation. And I know other people that deal with this too, men and women, not just saying just women, that like when you first start dating somebody and they're all on your social media, mm -hmm. I don't think that's, mm, you know what I mean? Like you're so captivated by who you think I am from social media, what the standards you think I am from social media, that's that true. you don't know how to act. That's true. Because if you're looking at my social media and every week I'm in another state and another city and another country, mm -hmm. then now you like, oh, I might be out her league. Now you might, but how do you know? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it just creates so much insight insecurities with people like in the dating phase on that social media i think social media is supposed to be private isn't it supposed to be more private too if i'm giving you my social media i mean you you should have known me by then you know right what I'm saying by you know right. me, but i don't know I'll they give you are they are what's your social media like dang relax right. i don't have one yeah <laughs> Mine. i don't have one but see my name is so different you could just look up my social media. It's no mm. way if you just think in your brain, like, maybe I'll just take this in and see if it's... It, 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 you're going to find it. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. not... Damn. It's yeah, crazy. if you do Google Jazzy Mango, you are going to... You're going to see a whole list of... Like, <laughs> <laughs> so who got on me today? He was like, "Listen, you gotta pick which one you gonna DM me yeah, from because this is." I had to screenshot it because like five of her pages, she sent me something like, "It's I'm crazy." Like, Listen, when you were a serial entrepreneur, you got to you got to yeah. I just look at them. I don't even open them. I, I get them after three o'clock. I was literally cracking up because I'm like, "That is crazy, sis." Mm -hmm. Like, come on, just hit them off the jazzy man. No, because I had a text message. Yeah. Then I had three three pages from three different accounts. I'm like, "Yo." Oh. Bad enough that everybody else hit me up. That's mm. crazy. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, speaking yeah. of um social media, y'all yeah, miss social media when um they didn't have so many content creators. You know, in the beginning stages, how did y'all like it then versus now? Because now it's just like everything's like oversaturated. Hmm. I mean, so now. much content coming at you. Yeah. I mean, I think it's necessary because that's part of social media. Everybody's branding their own thing. So I think that's a, it's, I think it's a good thing, to be honest with you. Social media was for more business wise. There's a lot of stupid shit that's on there. Don't get it twisted. You know, what I mean, if we could if we could filter that out, that's cool. But other than that, there are all those content creators as far as doing something funny, um, selling their products or whatever have you. I'm all for it. You know, what I mean, and the more the merrier because everybody got a you know, everybody got their own business that they want to promote. You some people use it for the wrong reasons. You get what I'm saying. So, yeah. um, so I want to. I wouldn't mind filtering out certain things, but let everything else fly. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I I agree too. I do think it was less anxiety filled. Like I know a mm -hmm. lot of people now are like, I got to take breaks off of social media or yeah. like. The, like it's just so much competition or whatever you feel in your heart is the reason why you got to take a break. I think that it is like more in your face, like. Because before, we used to watch movies, you know, and Blockbuster, or we see it in the movie theater. And not saying it was untouchable or unreachable, but not in a million years did we think like, oh, we could just get our own camera and we could just film the same shit. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, we can just get our, we are doing that. Like, we can just get our own stuff and film whatever. So now it's like, you're looking at everything. You're like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just like, it gets crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's so many things. Or you're like, oh, I was just going to do that. And so-and-so did it. And now I can't do it. And da 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 And it's like. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You got to zero down on what you want to do. I mean, it does. And for the some, most part, like when ideas. you post pictures, yeah. it doesn't even matter anymore because people are literally only on there for the content. So it's like you post a picture. If you're not like. If it ain't given, wow, like mm -hmm. you know, you're not mm -hmm. getting no likes on that. Yeah, yo, I gotta, um, I gotta throw this in there real quick. Um, I was watching Monique saying that uh, her jokes were stolen by uh, white chicks, not the actual like white oh, chicks. Yeah, but the but was <laughs> <laughs> the movie, the, the other movie, dresses. Yeah. No, <laughs> the, the other dresses exactly. <laughs> no, Marlon didn't. How did you feel about? I mean, because I heard the side by side. I mean, it was a, it was a reference. Yeah, it, it was a reference. It, I don't think it was word for word though. Lee, throw that clip in when we do this. Yeah, I, <laughs> nah, I'll do it. I'll yeah, do it, you know. What yeah, I mean? wow. Busy, Lee's busy, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I heard. I was like, all right. It was it was pretty much the same concept and whatnot. But even like the other um, comedians, when they say that somebody stole their joke, I'm like, mm. I'm thinking this word for word. Mm, it's it the might concept, be, right? 
it, it's close enough, but it's like, okay, well, who else did it like that? Right. Mm. And I guess whoever said it first, that's the person who it belongs to. Yeah. So can you copyright jokes? I don't think comedians, let us know. Write in, you know, let us know. Can you copyright jokes like you do scripts? But it's so many jokes. I mean, it's like only reason why I'm asking is because shut the fuck up. Why are you everybody keep coming and saying people yeah. stealing their jokes? Like mm -hmm. it must be something that you can like is it copywritten or is it like out of respect? Why would you take my joke? Yeah, it's what if respect. somebody really just all right, so like as artists, right? What yeah. if you said something and you didn't realize that somebody already did it, then it's like, oh my bad. You yeah. know what? I didn't know. And it's like, nah, you know a it's whole your joke. person took my whole song, a country singer. Literally took my whole song and remade it. Oh, oh, oh we saw it. Like, we saw literally, it. yeah. We, like, we, yeah, we that, this we was saw years it. ago. All of that happened. But people do this all the time. They they just got on Ice Spice. They said that Ice Spice took stole her song from, from somebody, somebody else. else. Yep. Her biggest hit. They said that she stole it. And I listened to the lyrics. It sound the same. <laughs> what was the, the word? You gotta yeah, read it. The yeah. beat was the same. <laughs> was the same. Oh, no. I was, was bopping the same. I'm like, damn. It's the same. I yeah, mean, but, you can't hide that Cedric the Entertainer one though. The one with the Bomalicious one. one, that one, you can't, you have to have heard that one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah hmm. by my initials joint. Yeah, yeah that, that one is clear as so day. So, what do you so, do in that change, stand? It was a small change though. Like, it wasn't ex the exact to. He from had to change to that. End. Yeah, he had but to change So, my thing is maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta change this it this in order for it to be his, right, 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 quote unquote, right. You get what I'm saying? But that was and who, totally who they say to stole it. Um, said you're gonna say he took it from um from a show from the 19, 1987. I forgot exactly what year, but it was okay. just it was pretty much the same joke to be honest. Now is that fair because the years gone by? Is it like can you recycle stuff after a certain amount of years? Like can I use a joke from, from Cedric now because he's dead? <laughs> Mm. I don't know. All I know is this: <laughs> it, it, if you claim that I took your joke, I'm be like, yeah, I did. So wow, mm. and that's what I'm saying. So I like, it. I liked it. So what if somebody took your movie? Yeah, fine, I'll make another one. <laughs> I appreciate it. I did. Uh, I'm that's kind of nah, crazy. About, yeah, I don't like, know about that. Somebody took Training Day and did it yeah, over. And did it over? Yeah, that's wild. Nah, I don't know. Well, that happens all the time as well, too, right? Yeah. The scripts be, be they have stolen. this new movie mm -hmm. out. Um, where they're doing all spoofs of Tyler Perry's movie in one. <laughs> I forget. I was like, don't be a menace. I forget who's doing it. Right. Yeah, it's like, and they're doing like, but it's like people are like mad about it. But like that's exactly what don't be a menace. Yeah, thing. don't be a mess was just like that. Yeah, yeah. it was that. Yeah, I mean, I think like people. Like, I think people want to be mad so bad sometimes <laughs> on social media. Like, why is nothing funny? Mm. Why is it like so sells. serious? The beef sells. And now it's just like, everything is just like heavy into it. It's like, mm. damn, nobody wants to be happy no more. Mm. Right. It's like, yo, just, hey, I don't like you. You don't like me. Let's not like each other. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? You, you always say there's nothing new under the sun. So, no, you know there's what I mean? not. That's right. There we go. Fashion. Fashion. Everything. You know, so it's kind of like, can jokes be recycled? I mean, I guess. I guess we just gotta ask some of our celebrity co comedian friends how they feel about that. You're gonna feel a certain type of way because you want you you want to be in an island by yourself. Whereas yeah. when you created something, Unique. you don't want to you don't want nobody else stealing it or, or now using I have a it question in a different way. That. Yeah, is it is it a problem because the person that stole it is bigger than you and getting more publicity? Because let's say the local comedian in your hometown does a Cedric joke. Mm -hmm. Are you more offended at that, or are you offended because Kevin Hart did it? Mm. Definitely the big artist, because you look at this Ice Spice situation. If right. she was nobody, I don't think he would be coming he after. He wouldn't her. be mad. He wouldn't be mad. But the fact that she is, you know, what I mean, she's so popular. it's not the fact that you stole a joke. Mm, it's, it's the fact that the person did better than you. Right. Could be that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, I mean, and, white and, chicks did better than Monique's joke, and they didn't. Um, they didn't um, like. Credit you. Mm -hmm. Right. And, credit and see, that's, that is the problem. So, in general, paying homage, do you guys feel like that's something that is a must? Or do you oh. feel like you can just, you know, people help you along your journey and it's just like it is what it is? Or do you feel like you should actually acknowledge that? I know that's a, a big issue with a lot of people, like acknowledging that they did so-and-so. Yeah, I just think it comes with it. Why not? That's the person who, you know, the the idea was through them, so 
why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm big on paying homage and giving respect and giving the credit to anybody that yeah. that that helped me along the way. Or at any given time, I'm definitely gonna say, "Yo, M Soto did this, Jazzy did this." You know Back. what I mean? Because I feel like you know we all need each other to get to to where we're going. I feel like we do that a lot, but other people don't <laughs> do that for us. Like, I'll see footage on, like, Baller Alert. I'm like, didn't I take that? Mm. Like, it's mm. just, like, crazy. But I also started noticing, too, like, a lot of the bigger artists, like, um, let's say LeBron James, or, like, bigger people, right? They mm. don't credit their photographers. Mm. They just make it seem as though, like, it's their footage. Oh, no, they just pay them. Yeah, so it's like, nice. is that in the contract? It can be. Okay. Mm. It can be. But I, I tell you what, if I was taking picture of you know anybody that's paying me and they paying me a nice lump sum, I'd be like, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. I don't that's care about my name. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. That's understandable. But it's kind uh, of just like we I, don't know that situation. We don't know. Right. right. <laughs> I think I think after a while I'd be like, yo, come on, yo, my <laughs> you can't tag yo, my yo, name. Yo, throw my name up in there. Though, yeah, throw my name in there, my nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> look, just keep me part of the team, man. <laughs> just keep me out on the game for a side. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that exclusivity right there is enough for me to not even want that recognition right. you see me there yeah so i mean yeah. I, I would hire a photographer for me Ooh. To yeah, there you go Ooh. there you go i wouldn't even care like about that. that recognition like yo you know what i'm saying <laughs> Picture real quick. you know how we do yeah i like that so okay that's the fact that makes sense um i guess we could uh i don't know i, I was going to mention the, the album of the of the week Album of the week. Okay. I'll let, I'll let you do it because I... Okay. I, yeah. Well, you know, 21 Savage album came out. And what made me listen to it, actually, I'm going to mess his name up, but the you, the the streamer, is his name Kai? Kai Sinat. Yeah. Kai Sinat. He always plays, like, music during his streaming. I see. So he listened to a song with uh, 21 Savage and Summer Walker. And it's called Prove It. And it was real sexy. So I'm like, all right, let me listen to that. So I'm listening. I'm doing my makeup. And I start listening to the whole 21 Savage album. Not really a huge 21 Savage fan. But I like the album. Like, the album had a lot of different levels to it. Had some sentimental stuff. Had some, like, basically, like, he pouring out his heart in a diary through lyrics, too. So, like, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the album, like, honestly. I got a chance to listen to um I didn't get a chance to listen to the album but I heard one song with uh with him and Mariah si Mariah That one was. that was one of my ones that was fire. That's fire. Like that, that was song was really and Mariah the Sciences is just fire. Yeah, she 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 just came out of nowhere and just yeah, like, she boom. Really, yeah, she she could sing. I, I She really can sing. Yeah, she got that voice. I I, I fucks with that. Wow. I fucks with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a <clears throat> You say I'm gonna pass on. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I'm not really a 21 Savage fan. I, I, it's called Dark Days. <clears throat> I listen yeah. to it for the production. Okay. For the production, I want to hear the beats mm -hmm. because obviously, you know, he probably has some fire beats on it. Yeah. And then, um, and I'll listen to it for the features too. Yeah. yeah he had a lot of features on. Yeah. I, so I'll definitely bump that for that and let you know my take on it. I saw that the album doesn't have like a lot of tracks. You know, like lately it's yeah. been like 20 something tracks. Yeah. Or whatever. I, think I think he's got he's like got 15. 15 tracks. So. So that's a, it's a good it's a good time to listen. I'll, I'll definitely take a listen to it, but uh, I'm just going off of that one track that I heard and and I and I approve for sure. Yeah, you know he got some. He got a track with Burner Boy that's fire too that oh, I like. Like oh yeah, that's one of your like. favorites. Yeah, so Burner Boy. Uh, I, I, I'm feeling it. I'm okay. Mad. Okay. But movie of the week for me would have to be um the Book of Clarence. Like the Book of Clarence. I went and seen that movie and it was wow. just. It was dope. It was a different take on the Bible. It, they changed a little bit of stuff around. Um, you know, Jay-Z had a part in this as well. Um, I just think that the soundtrack is fire alone. It better be. The soundtrack is <laughs> sick. <laughs> like, you know it's so sick that you annoyed that you can't just listen to the soundtrack. Like, mm. can we separate the movie and the soundtrack? Uh. But it's really, really good. Um, the actors did an amazing job mm -hmm. in there. And I'm just like really, really proud. Like when I see a movie, I'm, I always get excited for something that I could see myself in or mm -hmm. I could see what I want to strive to be in. You know what I mean? Like it, the acting was just impeccable, like mm -hmm. all the way around. The movie was just dope. Book so of Clarence, I, you said, right? Yeah, Book of Clarence. Okay. Definitely go see that if you get a chance. Catch it on the matinee, it, you know? Mm, okay. Right. okay, okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess we. We went around the room with all the topics. With all the um, topics, is there one more that you want to throw in there? I thought mm -mm. I got I got one more. Go know, ahead, throw. I'm gonna throw one more in there if we have time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was it Larsa Pippen 
and um, Michael Jordan Jr. Okay. Yeah, okay. They're talking Very about gay. they do. Yeah, they talking about they have sex five times a day. No, seven because seven. Times I think a day. she said she had sex five times with with P- Pippin, with Scotty. and he said that he is um, a competitor. Competitor, so he make it seven. Hmm. I just don't understand. <laughs> like, I, she fuck? said, I just don't understand. My uterus hurts for her. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Number one, like, where do you have the time? Like, where do you have the time to fit in seven sessions in a day for seven days? It's out of control. A week for a month to a year. Yeah. Seven times a day. Nah. It's not It's not happening. I don't have... You know, I, it, the, where's the yeah? Where's the energy? <laughs> Snorting coffee. Shut yeah. Like, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't know. That dude. First of all, any man that's doing that, by the time he's like, it depends on when they start. If he's like 21, mm-hmm. by the time he's 24, he gonna be in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way in hell. That's just crazy. Like, <laughs> you, you, you just knocked off 30 years of your life. You're not doing. You gonna be in a wheelchair? <laughs> all crutches. <laughs> The hell out of you because you want to be in a competition oh shit. you want to be in a freaking special olympics that's the only competition you're going to be in after no for real every day seven times no for real there's, there's that's no, just too much yeah there's no way i'm doing that there's no way yeah you listen you better tag team somebody in <laughs> substitute get a stunt double or something like that but yeah seven like that's kind of cap right there that shit would have fell off I'm just off. like, why? Like, I'm mm-hmm. not even interested. Like, every, like, what is, where's the fun or the excitement come in? Like, mm-hmm. at this point, it seems like a duty. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all right, baby, we gotta hit the seven. Yeah. We only did five. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it just doesn't even seem like y'all trying to have a kid. I don't get it. Personal question: What's the most you you think you have ever done in, in one day? In one day. Or four? you would do four. four. Yeah. Four. I think it's enough. And I was young. Yeah. I think everybody <laughs> time for that shit. Like, <laughs> what? Like, what are you talking about? And you got to hurry up before my parents get home. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? On. Like, you know, yeah, like, what? I school for this. Yeah, what What about you? How many times? Probably, you? probably around seven. Okay. But that was just that one time. Oh. Right, Not right, every right, day. Right. No, Not right, every right. day. Well, we started from, like, you know, the minute we got back, cut school. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we got to get in as much as we can because I don't know the next time. I'm going to see happen. you. Yeah. Yeah, right. That too, so. Mine was three. That's it. I I, I never did four. No, I don't even. I don't even have the desire to do four. I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, three. Three was the most I've ever did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. All right. Well, all marathons aside, (laughs) I think this was a. I think this was a very dope episode. Oh yeah, as always. Yeah, we get together. We get the job done. Um, I don't know if there's anything y'all want to say before y'all leave. Well, I anything. just want to say happy birthday to Soda. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday oh, to the guy. Very you know great. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a big year hey, for him. Oh, you know what I mean? Just get, get, him, get, him, get him together. Oh, he got the to-go. He always go. got his health kick and stuff. He got him a to-go. So, you know, I just oh, want to get, say. She you got you a to-go yo, basket. She sent me on the way home. A bag. There you go. Oh, you gotta say happy birthday! Shout out to Shout Soto, out to Soto. The That's what's up. of this podcast. Oh yeah! Shout out to him, always holding us down, always looking out for us, you know and just always saying? putting other people before himself. That's not a period. That's I never got to met stop. a more chillax guy in my life. That's like got everything to stop. rolls uh-huh. off of his shoulder. Yo, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Me and Fire. G ain't that. Yeah, but this man right here. Don't mess with him, though, because for real. Oh, nah, but, yeah, they don't play with my birthday. brother. I know it's early, but I don't know if I'm going to see you. So I just wanted to say happy birthday to you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what you reaching for now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. She about to yeah. the climate that we in. Like, yeah. no, you probably had a flashback. Know. I'm like, yo. No, that one summer. time, <laughs> I, he was late. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I thought you were going to pull out a camera or something. But, uh, yo, oh. listen, I definitely appreciate that. Yes. It was very unexpected. I did not even think twice about that. Because mm. I didn't even see you come in here with that. Right. Because Well, that bag is. Because the girls oh, do it better. Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. Right. Well, um, <laughs> once again. That's a good one, Jazzy. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah. yeah she, you didn't, did you tell G that this was going to be? No, no, I did not tell him. She did not tell me that. Right. I had no clue. Well, nonetheless, <laughs> I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, on behalf of myself, Gillianne, J. 
Jazzy Mango, and then the the music uh, uh, Love Life, Life. <laughs> Love Life. <laughs> oh, the music Love, music yeah, Love Life yeah, episode. Love that, that's what this is on the Music Life and Love podcast. Something different. Yeah. Appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. We out.